What's up guys, welcome back to Piggy Garage. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the absolute easiest way to learn how to drive a manual uh, car, whether that's a five speed, four speed, six speed um, car. No matter what you have, this is absolutely the easiest way that I found um, and used to teach other people, um, including myself, how to drive stick. Um, if you guys want to just see that um, go ahead and skip forward I'm just gonna tell you guys a little story about my experience with driving stick uh, to let you know that you're not alone uh, with you know struggling to learn how to drive uh, a manual car uh, my first car was a 2004 SVT Ford Focus it was a six-speed manual car and I had the absolute hardest time trying to um, learn how to drive stick. Um, I, my father actually took me to a parking lot and he tried to teach me uh, there and it was just an awful experience for me. Um, so I was super disappointed in myself and disappointed, you know, being that my father drives a, a manual car very well. I was disappointed kind of to not be able to show him that I could do it. I thought that it would be easy. It wasn't that easy for me until I learned this method. Uh, I talked to my brother and he said, you just need to learn on your own. So uh, I took the car out and by taking the car out, I found um, that going in reverse it's a lot easier than going forward in first gear. So what I ended up doing was just, you know, going in reverse out of the garage, stopping, going in reverse again, because the key to learning how to drive stick and driving it well is learning where the clutch engagement is, where you bring the clutch out very slowly and at that sweet spot where the car actually starts to move. In reverse, um, in any car, every car that I've ever driven, in reverse, you can move the car fully and get it up to the full reverse speed just by letting out of the clutch very slowly. So what you need to do is go in reverse first to learn where the clutch engagement is. So go ahead to a open road or in your driveway if it's long enough and just back up. Let the clutch out ever so sl uh, slowly. Uh, find out where that clutch engagement is. And that engagement point is what you're gonna then use to you know, go into first gear, second gear, third, and all the way to sixth or fifth gear, whatever gear you have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in the R and show you guys this method, but I've used this method with a lot of my friends. Uh, some of my friends had a very difficult time learning stick as well um, because it's kind of embarrassing stalling out with someone in the car or whatnot. So my advice to you is go somewhere that's open um, you know, just you, and don't be upset or fr get frustrated if you stall out, conk, um, or, you know, let the car jerk. That's normal things that we all go through when learning how to drive a manual car. Um, and if you just follow these steps and these methods that I'm going to share to you and show you, uh, you'll be able to, you know, drive a manual in no time. It pretty much, um, there's levels, you know, you learn how to get it going, then you're going to come up against obstacles like being on a hill, uh, going fast, like a smooth transition. All these things come with practice and months and months of, of driving a manual car. But, uh, the most important thing is finding that clutch engagement. So for me, you know, the easiest way to do it is to go in reverse because in reverse, you don't even need the gas. You just let the clutch out very slowly and the car will start to move as I'm going to show you guys in a couple minutes um, with my GT350R. I really hope that this helps and I believe, um, you know, that this is the easiest way to learn how to drive a manual car. I've, you know, when I was uh, trying to learn how to drive stick myself, I looked for the easiest method and I don't know why no one described this method. I guess it's unorthodox to go in reverse. Um, but if you guys do this, you will see for yourself that you, uh, by the end of you know this video, will have the way, the easiest way, to uh, learn how to drive your manual stick uh, car. So. I'm gonna hop in the R and take you guys for a ride and show you how I do it and how you guys can master a manual transmission just like I do and my friends. Thank you guys. All right guys, so to start the car, um, to start a manual transmission car, you have to have the clutch in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Let out on the rear brake. And like I said, up. So you pull up, you bring it over and up. You can see that I'm in uh, reverse by the reverse camera. And you're gonna see, watch me, I'm just gonna let out on the clutch ever so lightly. You 
see that? Right here is the engagement point. It's where I start moving. You see that? So just, you know, let it out very slowly. And right when it starts to move, just hold it right there. Push it in as you'll keep moving and let it out a little bit. Push it in. Let it out. There you go. Push it in. Let it out. And that's how you learn the clutch engagement. And then you can have the brake. Stop. And then do the same thing. Just let it out. And then push it back in. Don't let it out all the way. Hold it at the spot where the, um, the, the car starts to move. So right here, I'm letting it out. And right there, I'm holding it. The car is moving. So you just hold it right there at that spot. You can push it in and the car will still move. And then do it again. Stop. And then let it out. Right here is where the car starts to move. And just holding it right there. And holding it, holding it as the car goes in reverse. I haven't let it out at all. I can push it back in and the car will slow down some, but pull it back out. And you guys can see I'm not using any gas for this. And you know, you're just slowing down. All right guys, so we've just mastered, um, you know, how to go in reverse. Uh, like I said, just pra keep practicing that practicing that a couple times, making sure that the car is moving backwards, stopping the car, and then uh, just keep repeating that, learning that clutch engagement, where if the gas, or where the car starts to move, um, and get a feel for it. You know, that's really the most difficult part about learning how to drive stick is feeling where that clutch engagement is. Because once you learn where that clutch engagement is, that's when you know where to give it gas. So I'm gonna follow that same method and show you guys how to do it going forward. So for this car, up, any car, it's actually up and um, down a second. So first, I'm gonna let out on the clutch and see if my car starts moving without even giving it gas. Yeah, so right here, I'm just holding it. As you can see my car is moving just a little bit. And you can just keep letting out. Really slow, guys, really slow. Really slow. All the way until it's out, and there you go. Now my car is moving. Now what you can do is give it a little bit of gas. A little bit of gas. And then stop. Put the clutch in and stop. Make sure you put the clutch in every time you stop the car or else, or else it will stall out. So the clutch is in. Now we're gonna release it. And this time, when you start to feel the car moving, so for me, it's right here. I'm gonna start giving it a little bit of gas. Just a little bit of gas on the right foot. Keep giving a little bit of gas while I'm continuing to let out on the clutch, the left foot. So watch the left foot. I'm up, 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 until the car starts moving a little bit. And then I'm giving, right here on the right foot, a little bit of gas. And doing the same thing, a little bit of gas until my clutch foot is all the way out. Still raising it very softly and now it's out. And we're in first. So I'm gonna put the clutch in, brake, stop the car, and do the same thing. Watch my left foot, letting it out just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, until my car starts to move. Right here, you can see my car starts to move, and I'm not moving this left foot. Now I'm gonna put my right foot on the gas just a little bit, give it a little bit of gas, and as I'm giving it a little bit of gas, I'm taking out on the clutch on my left foot. Keep giving it a little bit of gas, just a little bit of gas, a little bit of gas, and then stay right there, and that's first. So now, we're gonna speed up just a little bit. I'm just speeding up a little bit, bringing my RPMs up to about 
2,000. 2,000, I'm at 2,000. Now I'm gonna put the clutch in, let off of the gas. Second gear, straight down. Let out on the clutch. And then give it gas. And that's second gear. 2,000. Clutch. Third. Let out on the clutch, give it gas. Now I'm in third, cruising. And when you want to stop, put the clutch in. Put it, the car in neutral. And hit the brake. So guys, once again, the car is stopped, not moving. I'm gonna put it in first gear. Let off of the brake. Let out on the clutch ever so lightly until the car starts to move. You see it, it's moving. Moving ever so slowly. I haven't moved my clutch. Now I'm gonna put my right foot on the gas, give it a little bit of gas while I'm letting out on the clutch very slowly. And now I'm all the way out of the clutch and still giving it a little bit of gas. Raised to about 2,000 RPM. My clutch in, left foot clutch in, second gear, let out of the clutch, and in with the gas. Now what you're gonna notice is when you let out of the clutch and then into the gas, it's gonna be a little bit jerky. That is okay, you're not gonna hurt the car. It's okay if you stall out. Just remember these steps, clutch in, brake to stop, and then like how I should like to track that I'm in neutral, I put it in the middle, and I go like this. I do the little shake. If you can do the shake, you're in neutral. Um, when you're transitioning between gears, once you get the hang of it and get better at this, um, you'll be able to do the same method of giving a little bit of gas when you're switching between gears. So as we're letting out of our clutch foot, left foot, and then starting to give it a little bit of gas to in, you know, propel the car a little bit further. That's the same method that you're gonna transition from one first gear to second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and if you have a sixth, sixth gear, it's all the same. Like I said, don't be afraid to stall out. Don't be afraid to jerk the car and it gets really jerky, that's fine. We all do it. Nothing is wrong with that. Some people pick up clutch sooner than others and quicker than others. Me myself, it took me it took me a while to, to honestly learn how to drive stick until I started the reverse method where I went in reverse first and learned where the clutch engagement was. Once again, I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's literally like this and it's gonna change your life if you're struggling like I did. This is the game changer. Reverse, clutch in, reverse. I'm in reverse and look, just letting out on the clutch very lightly. Car's moving back. You see it's moving. I'm just holding the clutch there. And then I'm letting all the way out of the clutch. Look at that. And we're moving. No gas. And that right there, guys, is how I learned how that right there, guys, is how I learned to drive stick, and I really believe that it's the easiest way, by far the easiest way, and it works for everybody. If you're really struggling at driving stick, this is how you need to learn how to drive stick. I really hope this video helped you guys, um, and if you're really having a hard time like I did, it was super frustrating, I feel you, I understand. Like I said, don't, don't, you know, get frustrated, don't get your feelings hurt. If you jerk in the car, it's okay, you're not gonna break it. If it's, you know, stall out, you're okay, you're not gonna break out, uh, uh, break it. We all go through these things, uh, or these uh, experiences when we're learning how to drive stick. Uh, I'm gonna finish the video with you, uh, with you guys, uh, showing you how to do it one more time. In first gear, so first gear, up, first, let it out on the clutch a little bit until the car starts to feel like it's moving. You can also hear it. You can hear it. The car starts to go wah and sound like it's gonna die. And then you just give it a little bit of gas. Now it's at 2000, clutch in, 
Second gear, let out of the clutch, give it a little bit of gas. There you go. 2000, clutch in, third gear, let the clutch out a little bit, a little bit of gas. There you go, clutch in, brake. Make sure you're in neutral um, and put it in first. And that, guys, is how you drive. Uh, the easiest way to learn how to drive a manual. Um, you will realize that it's, you know, there's more difficult things or that you'll come across like being on a hill. Um, but once you really learn how to drive the car and, you know, get a feel for the clutch, um, you'll be able to master the hill as well. Um, if you guys have any more questions uh, about how to learn how to drive clutch um, or stick or manual or any of the frustrations that you've come across, leave a comment below and I will for sure be here for you guys to help. Um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.